Josh, Daryl, Larry, Bluestein, Flex, Flex. Not flex. much of a flex, but I'd uh, like to show off this right yeah, here. Yeah, Auto Nation. It's the Auto best. Nation, Grand Iron Port, Ignacio Bueno, getting it done. Scholar Athlete, thousand dollars. Get your nominations in. All right. And your brother's doing darn good up at Willie Ronald Bueno. Beach. You don't miss yeah. a thing. Hey, you don't miss great. a thing. All right. Um, prospect time. Time to look at some players. Some players who have uh, caught our attention uh, through the early part of the season. Uh, we did. We did mention Monarch as a team. So if you're going to mention the team, you got to mention the players. You can mention any of their wide receivers, but you want to talk about their quarterback, Michael Harris. Three weeks into the season, three weeks ago, I could say to anybody, anybody ever hear of Michael Harris, a quarterback at Monarch? Now everybody's heard of him because he's the leading passer with all the Peyton Benders and Sean Whites and Maurice Alexanders and Tucker Burns and everybody we have down here in this class and Quentin Flowers and, and, and also uh, our Trion guy, Harris. Treon Harris. Here's Michael Harris, a junior, 6'1", 175 pounds, taking it by storm, the leading passer in South Florida after three weeks. But, you know, everybody says with the with the weaponry he has, all you have to do is dump it off to Calvin Ridley. Or, but you know what? He makes the plays. Coach Davis told me that this is one of those kids by next year will be a top-flight Division One quarterback. Let me to say not too many good quarterbacks don't have good receivers. In, it's, hard, it's hard to be a good yeah, quarterback with bad wide receivers and vice versa. It's first, true, so. but if you have a, a number of them like he does, it, it certainly so got execute. helps you. You're right, Still got 100%. Yeah. All right, now this name should be very familiar to people around these parts. And we're in the QAM building right now. Yes. Uh, and if you're a Dolphins fan, or a Boston College fan, or a Kansas sure. City Chief fan, you it's might you know the name Troy Stratford. Media day at Sun Life Stadium. There come the Alonzo Tracy Morning Sharks, and none other than Austin Stratford, who I used to know when he was no. that guy. And now he's making plays as a varsity football player. Doing good. Uh, you know, if you look at... This is a program that's not very, very old at all. And when you take a look at a marquee win, the marquee win came last week against Crop. I mean, this you beat an established team, a team that everybody says is going to be your rival from now on since North Miami has North Miami Beach. The one thing about Stratford, he's a lot like his dad. He's got the quickness. He kickoff returns as a backfield runner out of the backfield. Not that he's not the most vocal kid when he talks, but I'll tell you what, this is a, uh, you know, Troy asked me, honestly, what do you think of my son? I says, I'll tell you what, athletically, this is a kid that really has an opportunity to do a lot of things. And he's lifted morning up, and, and you need this. You need a marquee football player on a young team, and that's certainly him. All right, then we go over to Miramar, um, loaded on defense, yes. particularly in the secondary. So we'll pick out a guy not named Tyreek Cole, and we'll talk about a senior safety, Andre Godfrey. Oh, well, nothing nothing not to like about him. Uh, here, here's somebody also we've been watching three years. I think he really sets a tone for the type of player he is because he's real physical. And you see him during the seven-on-seven seven season, and the coaches have to kind of like pull him back because he just competes. And this is one of the reasons why they have that dark side defense. And they have the Tyrick Coles and the and the and the Samuels who Ryan Samuels who makes a huge difference. It's because of players like this, Josh, that are that are not selfish. They're team players. They may, they all know their their roles on on the defense. And I think that Mr. Godfrey, he's a kid that he can shake your your uh, fillings loose pretty quick. Oh, I think I don't play football. Then. Yes. I want my fillings to be right. Well, I don't have fillings, but I guess what happens when you get older. Yeah. <laughs> I had those when I was young, eating too much candy. Uh, all right, so there we go. Michael Harris from Monarch, Austin Stratford from Alonzo and Tracy Morning, and Andre Godfrey from Miramar. The elder statesman, the That's wise me. man, the, the expert, elder one. Mr. Everything, Larry Bluestein, and Josh Darrow. Auto Nation Gridiron Report here on South Florida High School Sports.com.